Hi you guys, it's your star. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Okay, so I got a request to do a eyebrow tutorial or how I do my brows. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a foundation and eyebrow tutorial. So first I start off with Scandinavia, um, the makeup primer spray to prime my entire face after I wash and do my moisturizer. So I just do a few squirts of that just to prime my face. Um, it works much faster than like um, the primer that you have to rub in so I, that's why I use it and then I just get my foundation which today I'm going to be using the fit me matte and poreless by Maybelline in number 322 which is the color warm honey okay warm honey and I'm gonna be using a, a beauty blender you can spray this with your primer as well or water and spray your beauty blender give it moist because it um, spreads more product and doesn't soak in the product as much so you get more product use when your sponge is wet okay because if your sponge is dry it's gonna suck in all of your foundation and you're not gonna get as much on your face but if the sponge is already wet the foundation is gonna lay on the surface and it's gonna just be easy to spread around on your face so you can use water or primer, doesn't matter. I use primer because that, you know, gives it longer staying power. And I like um, how it creates a more uh, flawless application. Yeah, okay, so I just basically get all of my face with a beauty blender. Um, and for under my eyes, I have a wedge sponge that I just go like that because I can't get in with this. I know they do make beauty blenders with little tips, but um, the sponges work well for me because, you know, it just fits right in there. And they're cheap. I get like a whole giant bag of them at like Big Lots for like a dollar fifty, And they also include like two of these beauty blenders. Uh, or beauty sponges. I don't know if I can call these beauty blenders if they're not that name brand, but hey, they look just like them. Okay, so I get all the foundation on and if you have like a different color neck, go ahead and put some on your neck, which I think we all do. So just put a little bit, you know, pull it down a little bit so you don't have like that line around your jaw and two tones of skin, <laughs> skin color on your body. Okay. So now that we have that, um, if you like more coverage, use a more a full coverage foundation or go over it again with the drugstore. But I think this is just enough for me for today. Uh, so if you want, go ahead and do a concealer right now. I usually do my concealer after I do my eye makeup, but go ahead and get your concealer and go under your eye. I'm using the Instant Rewind, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle by Maybelline in the color Honey. And I just take the wedge and I just blend that on in. Yes. And if you have a setting powder or a translucent powder, you can go ahead and use that. Um, uh, I don't think I'm going to use it right now because I will do more makeup later. But for now, I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my brows. Okay, so first you're gonna need a slanted or angled brush for your brows. This one is by, I don't even know how to pronounce this name. I got this in the dollar store, you guys. <laughs> but they have these everywhere. Elf sells them, numerous brands that sell brushes. But I like this one because it is the perfect angle and you don't overdraw or underdraw because it's just thick enough. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills a Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. And you're also going to need a spoolie. And a spoolie is just this little uh, thingamabob. That's like for, you know, mascara. And just brush your brows up and then over. This way you get your natural shape already in place so that you can 
you know, draw and fill in. So I'm going to zoom into my brows. Okay. So you take your angled brush and you just dip it in there, get enough product on there. Don't overload it because you can always add more, but it's hard to take away. Okay. So let me just angle you down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So the first thing I do is outline my brow. Oh my goodness. Okay. I had to switch to like my mirror to magnify. <laughs> so I just outline my brow like this on the top and I go underneath the bottom and I kind of come out a little bit more right here on the bottom to give that angle. And then I just draw over my arch. Now this dip brow pomade is really good because it lasts all day. You, don't, you cannot rub it off. And, oh, I got a message. And now you just fill in the rest and you don't go heavy. You just go in. I'm gonna turn off my messages. Everybody's messaging me. Okay, um, so you just fill it in. And there. They're messaging me because I live like near Houston and it's like supposed to it's really flooded in some parts but I'm okay so I I will let them know in a sec so that's how you fill in your brow and then if you want that like little airbrushed look on your brows you just take your spoolie and you comb up and this kind of blends in your uh, brow color your dip brow pomade or you can even use a pencil and get the same effect or a powder so you just kind of brush up and that kind of gives that a uh, natural brow look see and that's how I do my brow so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the next one now a lot of people have like a scar in their eyebrow from childhood and I do I have one and it's easy to cover up when you use, uh, you know, if you fill in your brow. So that's why we do this. Well, that's why I like to do it because sometimes it shows through, but it doesn't bother me that much. And I'm trying to get some better lighting for you guys. I hope this is good. So you just go up and trace along the outside of your brow. Um, and do the same at the bottom. I always come out a little bit further at the bottom so I can have that angle that I like. And then I come down and at the angle where my natural hair grows. That way it doesn't look so, you know, so uh, unnatural. So I kind of keep the natural shape of my brow unless I'm doing something super fancy. Then I'll kind of arch it up a little bit. Now I'm just filling that in. And I went a little darker on this one because of the lighting situation. <laughs> but this product, it will lighten up. Uh, like if you brush it, you can get some of that product off. Like so. And yeah, so if you, if you find yourself overdoing the product, get your spoolie and kind of brush it and that'll help. So now I'm gonna brush the corner, inner corner to kind of get that natural uh, look back in. And I kind of want it to match this one. So I need a little bit more product. There, that should be enough. And then I'll just brush it on out. Okay, so now I'm gonna push the camera back up so you guys can see the results. And excuse the lighting, you guys. It is, I'm in Houston, and it is super cloudy, and I don't have much natural daylight. And still, I can tell this side is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more, a little bit more product, so I could even it out. And this is, this is all I do. You know, it takes a little time and effort and practice to get you know, I'm not a pro at it yet. I mean, 
I've been doing it for years, but you know, the techniques change up. People start doing them differently. And when you were a pro at one way, now you're an amateur at the new way. <laughs> so it's like, oh my God, I gotta catch up. So yeah, just keep practicing in your mirror until you get the results that you like. Some people like a sharp angle brow right here. They don't like, you know, when it tapers off. I'm kind of digging it because it does look a little bit more natural. Um, so yeah, your spoolie is your friend. <laughs> Believe me. Okay. So this is this is how I do my brows, and this is basically it. You don't want to do overdo them, or you know you want to kind of follow the same line as your natural uh, brows. If you shave your brows off. Then you can draw whatever line you like, um, or you can uh, use whatever color uh, you like. So that's always a plus. <laughs> so this is my brows and my foundation look. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will list all the products that I used below. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.